OK, we're going to look at a particular example here. A password can be made consisting of three letters followed by four numbers. The first three letters are selected using any of the letters A, B, C, all the way up to Y, all the way up to y and Z once, and the numbers are selected using any of the numbers 0, 1, 2, all the way up to 8 and 9, uh, exactly once. How many arrangements are there? So, for example, you could have uh, the arrangement A, B, C, 0, 1, 2, 3, for example. So each password is split up and using three letters and four numbers. So because we've got um, three letters, okay, and we can only use each letter once, this uses um, the permutation NPR. So we have out of, well, we've got 26 letters. So 26 letters. And it is a permutation where we are picking three. Okay, This will give me the number of permutations or the number of arrangements of the letters. And then for each of these, I will have the permutations of the numbers. And out of 10 numbers, I need to pick four. So I have 26P3, which is 15600, times by 10P4, which is 5040. So I need to multiply these two things together, and I get 78624000. So there's 78,624,000 different arrangements. Okay, So if you're comparing this to uh, some of the passwords we were looking at earlier in this set of videos, then you can see that you know, the, um, the number of different permutations has increased rapidly. Okay, so that is why um, websites um, and your email and things like that are trying to make you uh, write down safer and safer passwords using a combination of letters and numbers because the number of permutations, the number of arrangements that you can potentially have increases each and every time and makes the password safer and safer because of the number of possible ways of rearranging that set of data uh, increases as the password gets more complicated.